Hi YouTube family, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. To all my regular viewers, sending lots of hugs and kisses. For all those who are viewing my channel for the first time, a warm welcome to Sherman's Kitchen. For all my Guyana and Essequibo friends and family, I'm sending you big hugs, kisses, be strong and have faith and remember to pray. So today is a continuation of my Essequibo videos. I am taking you all with me on the Essequibo coast of Guyana. I am taking you all to the mainstay lake in Guyana. It's a popular lake in Essequibo and it has become a very big and popular hanging spot. I went to the mainstay resort for my honeymoon when I got married. So this place is very dear to my heart. Check it out. And to all my friends who saw my last video with the Kapui Lake, you know that Essequibo is such a beautiful place. And today is a good day for our Essequibo family because the International Court of Justice is still pending the final decision over the controversy that's going on. But it also rules that Venezuela shall refrain from taking any action that will modify the situation. At least our Essequibo family can have peace of mind for this holiday season. Our beautiful country is made up of six unique nationality and three beautiful county Essequibo, Barbies and Demerara. My Guyanese friends, stick together in prayers on all your social media platform. Just post up the Guyana flag or the Guyana map just to show your support during this time. It is as much as we can do during this time. One people, one nation, one destiny. And we love our country bad, bad, right? From one end to the other, it's all ours. Imagine one day your neighbor come over to your house and say more than half of it belongs to them. And if you don't agree, they will take drastic action against you. How would you deal with that situation? Knowing that your grandparents, parents, you and your children live there for your whole entire life. Wouldn't that be a big surprise? What would cause something like that to happen though? Why would your neighbor want to do something like that to you? Things were going well and all of a sudden, somebody remembered that something belongs to them. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. Enjoy this Essequibo drive with me. Let me know if you or your family live in any of these villages that I pass by. It is just a beautiful place and every time I go here, it's always getting better and better. More houses, more businesses, lots of banks, business places, and all kinds of development going on here. They even have courts over here. I didn't know courts furniture store was on the Essequibo coast as well. And many, many more stores that we have in Georgetown that I'm not familiar with, they have over here. The people of Essequibo Coast don't have to go to Georgetown for everything, but of course, all the main government offices are in the city. And for those reasons, people still have to go for passport, birth certificate, and things like that. It was such a beautiful hot day, blue sky, fluffy white clouds. You just wanna be in the outdoor, especially going to the lake or the riverside to dunk yourself into some nice water to cool you down. Guyana is one place that you will see different color of houses. You will see a blue house, a green house, an orange house, a yellow house, a red house, different color of houses. I am not kidding. As you are watching, you will notice for yourself. I hope you're enjoying these Essequibo videos with me. I can't wait to go back here again to spend some nice quality time. It's a really peaceful, nice place to be.
We stop here to pick up something to eat and then we will continue with the journey. This is like a busy shopping area. As we were passing by, this guy was fishing right here by the roadside with a little piece of stick and a hook and he caught two nice size of Lokanani. Lokanani is a sweet water fish and when I say sweet water, it's a really delicious sweet fish as well. It is so nice to see these things passing by the countryside is something that I really love. As we're driving into the lake at the roadside, we stop here to pick some jamun. The trees are dung loaded with jamun. Some of them on this bunch are not ready, but of course I see a nice, ripe, juicy one. Jamun is very healthy for us and have some amazing health benefits. So right along the roadside, you can catch some fish to make your dinner. You can pick some fruits to enjoy while you're doing that. And you can also milk a cow to take home milk for your family. Oh. Isn't it beautiful? Look how the rice lands are so beautiful on the side here. The setup is kind of different when I came here the first time. You have to pay like at the head of the street and then you have to drive into the lake. So let's go. When I first came here, the road was kind of rough and there was some deep puddles of water. I came here in a January, I believe, yes, January month, and that's rainy season in Guyana. And let me tell you, those pools of water was very deep. Today, it's a little bit different. We didn't have any holes. The road is really filled up with sand, so it's an easy drive in today. Check out these cute little houses. Very nice and simple. And right away wrong, there is sand. I really love it. The sand give it such a nice beauty.
Remember what I said about the color of the houses? So we just pass a white one. This one here is a blue one. And right next door is a green one. And to continue, there'll be different color. And sometimes when you don't know where you're going or if you're looking for a specific person, you can use by direction and say by the blue house or the green house or the red house and that's how people can differentiate who you're referring to in Guyana. And here we are after that nice long drive. Welcome to Lake Mainstay on the Essequibo coast of Guyana. Come on in and let's check this place out. As you can see, they have loom and sand in here and it's a very well kept place. It's really nice and clean. I find all the sandy area is very, very clean and I really like that. People come over here and spend the weekend or you can even spend a week over here. They have little cabin, two bedrooms, one bedroom. I believe they have even up to three bedrooms for a whole family. They have washroom inside. The rooms also have air conditions. I know they serve very nice food here as well. You get a very good breakfast. You get very nice lunches along with fruits and coconut water sometimes and the dinners are really really delicious when we came the first time we bought a package and the package includes transportation from your home to Parika, and then a speedboat will take you to Essequibo coast where you take a minibus straight to the mainstay resort and the food and everything was included and you can also do a day visit like we're doing today Tell me what you guys think of the place. I think it's really beautiful. The layout is very, very nice and inviting. And to top it off, they have this grand, beautiful lake that you can go in and enjoy a nice, cool swim. The water is not hot. The water is nice and cool and fresh. I'm giving a nice tour of the resort before we go into the water so you can have the full experience. Since you couldn't make it to come along with me, I brought it back to you. So it's beautiful weather, blue sky, fluffy white cloud, white sand, and black cool water. What more can you ask for to enjoy a good day at the lake?
This palm tree have a beautiful bearing. I find one on the ground and the pattern on it is amazing. I will show you what it looks like. Over here is some nice big jamun tree downloaded with jamun. Let's go. Look at all the jamun on the ground. I really have to take my slippers off and walk bare feet under here to get that jamun stain on my foot bottom just like when I was growing up and my cousin is daring me to do it and I love it so I'm gonna do it. The jamun is so plentiful, they're in hand reach. Who would like some? This is for all my friends who didn't have jamun for a very long time. Take your bite. Now it's time for me to be a kid again and climb the jamun tree to pick my own jamun. Look at me. I still have my young days skills. <laughs> So my cousin said this is an ite tree, the ite that they use to make kite with. So this is what the tree looked like. I've never seen one before. This is my first time. And now I'm going to take off my shoes and go to get jamun stain under my feet. And now it's time for your girl to go into the water and get wet. I just love this nice cold water. So my brother went to get a canoe for us to enjoy in the lake. And in the beginning, it was kind of a little struggle to get used to it. But after you get used to it, it was so much fun. We came here on a Monday just to get away from the weekend rush. We wanted to have the lake for ourselves and to really enjoy it and have that full experience of it. The water looks so black, but when you pick some up in your hands, it is nice and clear. Some places you can drink this black water.
My brother came back with the canoe and now my husband is going to try. It is kind of difficult to get in because you have to balance up before you go in. It was so much fun when I was going in because if you're on one side, it would capsize over with you. You have to really go in and sit right in the middle of it. Hubby is getting used to the canoe and once he got the hang of it, we couldn't get him out. And you guys know I have to take my turn, right? Now it's my turn. Hubby is walking behind me just in case I fall over and even though I didn't get it yet, he keep encouraging me that I'm doing well. But I don't like to give up and until I feel satisfied, I'm not coming out of this canoe. If you want to go, if you want to go more, you can go. And after a good day of fun and laughter, I found an awara tree. There was two on the ground and I couldn't resist them. I'm taking it over to the lake to wash them and I'm going to eat them right here before I get home. For those who never see an awara tree, this is what it looks like. It's palm branches and very, very spiky needles from the bottom of the tree right up to the top. You can't hold this tree because you will get serious injuries from holding it. This is what it looks like. We call those plimpla or needles. And when I say needles, they're very, very sharp needles. Did you guys hear the song of the parrots? It's starting to get dark and the birds are flying home and we are heading out as well. If you have the opportunity of visiting this place, Main Stay Lake on the Essequibo coast of Guyana, please do so, you will really enjoy it. If anyone know what this fruit is called, and if it's edible, please link below and let me know. As we're heading out, there is the beautiful sunset. Come on down with me and let's go to visit some of my cousins here on the Essequibo coast. We're heading now to Golden Fleece on the Essequibo coast. Come on down with me.
have you ever seen a guyana grape this is what it looks like it have one seed in the inside and have the same color of a jamun on the outside have a very nice whiny kind of flavor and some people call it riverside grape I used to spend a lot of my holidays in this golden fleece area and my aunt passed away now her husband is still alive the house is still here but it's older than when I used to visit there is lots of newer houses now in the area most of these houses were little tiny wooden houses when I used to come here so coming down here this is where I used to come and visit my aunt used to live here so much memory I have. It's all bushy now and the house look older. At the back of it is a rice field. And I have so much memories here at this house. My uncle wasn't home so we couldn't go in and visit. But hopefully we can see him the next time we come by. He have a lot of banana trees in the yard. And we're passing the golden fleece rice mill right here. On this side is where they blow out all the paddy shell and burn it to that nice pink ash that people use to wash the pot bottom with. It really cleans the pot nicely and you can also use it in your garden to help the soil. I guess it gives some nutrients to the soil and helps with beautiful produce. And this is the rice mill place here. So you got a good tour of the Golden Fleece area. It's coming through from one school street and going out to another road. My other cousins that I'm visiting, they live next door to each other. And I'm going to take you all along with me. Hopefully they're home tonight. Look at the beautiful sunset here. So one of my older cousins live here at the shop with all the Pepsi sign. Let's see if she's home. She's very funny. I haven't seen them for years. The one in the green is the cousin I'm staying at. So my cousin is also a grandma. She's in the blue. And that's her daughter in the pink. And another one standing beside me in the black. And her granddaughter. And this is my other cousin who live next door. Thank you all so, so much for watching.